Hey, this is Chris Menard. For you PowerPoint users, Microsoft has updated the Morph feature. Morph works with PowerPoint with an Office 365 subscription. It's been out for a while now, but in the past week, uh, so sometimes earlier this month, they updated the Morph feature. So watch what it will do first. Then I'm going to show you how to actually create this. So I'm in normal view. If you notice slide one and slide two, I'm going to make the drawing object I put on slide one turn into or morph into the drawing object on slide two. And then I'm going to do the same thing with slides three and four. So to actually see it work, you're going to go to slide show. So here's example one of the new morph feature that they've just uh, updated. I'm talking about slide one, assume I have a little bit of text on here. Watch what happens when I advance to slide two. There you go. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go backspace. I'm discussing slide one. I click, go to slide two. Perfect. Advance to the next slide. The guy looks like he's about to do a sprint. Left click. There you go. So there's two examples. So let me show you how to set this up because I found the instructions to be a little bit um, convoluted. I'm going to go put a new slide in. It doesn't matter what layout you use. So for just for training purposes, I'm going to do a title only so I have some room to work. I need to go put a drawing shape on there. Just so you know this, I tested this. I used shapes and then I went and used icons and both work. So I'm going to use shapes first just to keep this simple I'm gonna just draw a shape I don't care if the shape has different colors or not it doesn't matter but here's the tricky part after you put in the shape I need to go into the home tab I'm gonna use drawing arrange you need to get to the selection pane so I'm gonna open up the selection pane so there's my title when I click title it puts the placeholder around the title when I select Smiley Face 2, you have to do this. You have to rename it. It doesn't matter what you rename it, but the trick is it is two exclamation points to start off or this doesn't work. And to me, this is the third object that I've done. So I'm going to call it Object 3. And in case you're wondering, Chris, isn't that the fifth object? Object 1 over here to the left. Also Object 1 was slide 2. Object 2, slide 3. Object 2 again on slide 4. So that's why this one's Object 3. I could have named it whatever I wanted to though. I could have named it two exclamation points, smiley face. So there we go exclamation exclamation object one now you need to copy this slide I'm gonna just do control D if you want to do copy paste that works I no longer want this shape the question is what shape do I want that smiley face to morph into insert shapes go find whatever shape you want I've already used the lightning bolt I'm gonna just throw a heart here notice it's much larger Again, the selection pane is running. Two exclamation points. The exact same name as the slide before it. So there you go. Let's go test it. I'm going to start it right here because we know that slides one, two, three, and four already work. So the smiley face should morph into the heart. I'm going to run my slideshow from the current slide. I'm discussing this. I left click and it didn't work. Excellent example while you test stuff. I forgot one last step. You go to the slide that has the second object three transitions. There you go. Morph. Look, it's previewing it right here, so I don't even need to run the slideshow. Back over here to the left is preview. Let's do it again. How about that? 
Anyway, thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm getting close to 500 videos. I appreciate my subscribers. Have a wonderful day.